Hi guys, so today I'm filming another video. There's a couple things that I want to get accomplished today. I want to film a haul because I got some really good stuff at this yard sale last weekend. I want to show you what else I need to tackle today because it's kind of a lot. So here is my reselling room <laughs> right now. It is really bad. It's it's a hot mess. It really is. I took the couch out of here because I needed more room to put all these totes. I decided that I need to create some sort of inventory system because I can't live like this. Because when I need to pull something for measurements or even just to find something to pack up in order, it seriously gets out of hand and I just need my room to stop looking like this because I just can't stand it. So the idea that I had was maybe to label each tote with like a number or something and then on like my notes app and have listed every item that's in it. Like I don't know if that would work. I mean I know it would be better than what I have now just going into each tote kind of guessing what's in there. But I might try that. I just need to organize it and I need to pull all these loose clothes and put them into inventory, separate them. But I also want to film the haul while I'm at it so this. I'm going to figure it out as I go I guess because... I don't really have a great plan. Don't excuse my nasally voice. I apologize. I had a sinus infection for about a week, so I apologize for that. But I'm going to film the haul, so let's get ready for that. So I went to a yard sale last weekend, and I got a lot of good stuff, and everything was like $2 from this yard sale. So the first thing I wanted to show you are these Ugg boots, and they have writing all over them that say Ugg and love and things like that. And there's the tag on the back. They're like that cute short Ugg boot style that was really popular last year and the year before. They do need to be cleaned because they are a little dirty, but I need to get a suede brush or something because that's how you're supposed to properly clean suede. And so I need to get one of those because I don't want to ruin those by trying to wash them another way. I got a few dresses. So this first dress is just really cute. It might be like a lingerie thing. And it has this really cute lace detail here, adjustable straps. I don't know if it's vintage. This is the tag on it. I don't believe it's vintage, but it's a super cute little dress. It's like a baby pink color, too. This is from Hot Topic. So it's not vintage, but it's like a slip dress. But it's not like silky. It has a velvety material and it has pockets. Oh my gosh, when I saw that this had pockets on it, I was like, that is so cool. Cute. I've never seen a dress like this have pockets, so that's awesome. Cute lace detailing. It has adjustable straps as well. Here's the other slip dress that I got. It's blue. This one is silky. The lace again. This, I don't know if that's vintage, I don't know if you can see that tag. My lighting is probably so off right now. Cute little slip dress. It's this vintage Tommy Bahama. I believe it is 100% silk. Yeah, 100% silk. It has these flamingos on it, and it needs to be ironed, it needs to be steamed. It's a really cute top, so. It's a size large, I don't know though, it looks like it runs small. I'm gonna run out of breath. This is a vintage red corduroy jacket. Perfect for fall. That's coming up. Really cute. The brand is AMI. I, I'm i just going to assume that that's a vintage brand because I've had a pair of overalls from this brand before that were corduroy and they looked vintage too. So I'm pretty sure this is vintage, but it's a really nice jacket. Super cute. The next thing are these Zaya Active leggings. I believe I had a Zaya piece in one of my other hauls and I've heard it's a good brand but I haven't sold it yet so I don't know but I just picked it up because it was a good price. They're like these black and white, po I don't know if this is polka dot but they're like little circles all over. These are a size 2 so they're kind of a smaller size. I don't know how well these would do because of the size because I have a pair of extra large that I haven't sold yet but yeah and these have pockets too on the side so really nice. So I have another pair of Zaya Active leggings as well. These are size 4. And they are just these black and white striped leggings. Logo on the back. But yeah, these don't have pockets, but they are a really nice material. They had another pair of Zaya Active there that I didn't pick up because they were Capri leggings, and those just don't do good for me. I don't think they're a really desirable style to sell on Poshmark. Then I got this Hard Rock Cafe sweatshirt. It's from Tokyo, Japan. The guy I bought it from said it's he actually got it in Japan, so it's authentic. But um, I guess everything from the Hard Rock Cafe would be authentic. 
because you'd have to go to the cafe where it is to get okay you'd have to go to the cafe i guess so yeah anyways it just saying it's authentic it's you see the tag it's just this nice hard rock cafe hoodie so cute i got this vintage double collared crew neck just some cute little hearts on there love vintage sweatshirts like this i think they do i like them personally and i think that they sell very well too this is just a vintage tag on here but yeah love this so then i got this billabong billabong one piece it's a surfing suit i believe i believe they wear these long sleeve suits to surf in or i'm sure you could just wear it as a regular swimming suit billabong is a surfing brand so i believe that's what this would be used for and it has the zipper on the front sometimes i like picking up wetsuits and things like that that people use for surfing you know there's people out there looking for that stuff so i like to pick it up sometimes then i got these american eagle kick boot american eagle jeans it's a newer style well the style is has been around for a while but style right now is popular i guess it's popular right now so yeah size four and they're really cute they're obviously you can see they're the newer label so I hope those do well. I sold a pair of kick boot the other day that were like the older labels, so I'm, I think those will do good. Then I got this Chargers, NFL Chargers, Chargers jersey. <laughs> um, I don't know who this player is, Tom Linson, don't know. But I like picking up jerseys, especially this time of the year because football is starting. And I usually have pretty good luck with the jerseys, so I always like to pick those up for the right price. Then I got this red Boston Red Sox long sleeve shirt. This is just Nike. I just thought this was a really nice... Oh, there's some fuzzies on it. These, this needs to be lit roll. Holy crap. But yeah, really cute. This was a really cool find. This is a vintage champion like mock neck or crew neck, whatever you want to call it. So I could tell it was vintage just by the tag. I don't know if you can see the tag very well. You can just tell it's older and like there's this little tag on the back. And it was really, really nice. It has the pocket in the front. Here's the champion. And it's this really cool green color. I like picking up champion if it's vintage like that or if it has the reverse weave tag in it. This is an airy sweater. It's very oversized. Like, this is a size small, and this could fit an extra large, or a, like, large extra large, so. Really cute oversized green sweater. Great for fall that we're, you know, the upcoming fall season. Okay, these are Calvin Klein jeans. I hate picking up Calvin Klein unless it's, like, vintage jeans. It's the only time I'll pick it up. But these are a bootcut kind of flare style. They're kind of a Y2K, you know, I love Y2K. They're kind of a Y2K kind of style because I would say they're a lower rise. They're not like a high rise mom jean or anything. So oh, they're a size seven. So. Seven, really cute pair of vintage Calvin Klein jeans. Then I got these Nike leggings. They have this, they're just plain basic black Nike leggings and they have a little bit of detail on them. I got these for me. But they were like way too tight on my legs. I don't like when leggings are super tight on my legs. But they have a really nice little back pocket here. And they're an extra small. So a small size, but they're a super nice legging. So then this was a really great find, I thought. It's a vintage Elvis Graceland. I don't know if it's a t-shirt or a dress. I listed it as a t-shirt dress. But it's super cool, and with the Elvis movie and all, like, how it's all trendy right now, I thought this would be, this is a great piece. It's a great size. It's an extra large. But yeah. It has some stains on it, but they're really not too noticeable. I noted them in the listing. But it's really cute. So I got this vintage Abercrombie and Fitch crew neck. This is so cool because it has the really, it has the really tiny letters on here. It's vintage from the tag. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it's this really nice crew neck. It's a size small, I think. This like Y2K style kind of, it's a sweater tank top. I don't know if the colors are kind of coming up not as bright on screen, but it, it's a really bright color top. And it's a size large, and it does have a lot of stretch, so it would fit a size large, but you could also, 
you could size down in it too. Very Y2K. It's a very deep hop item. Then I got this NFL. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. This NFL scrub top. It's new with tags, so that's great. And it's the San Francisco 49ers. I picked this up once again because I'll only pick up scrub tops if it's Figs brand or if it's a cool graphic design on them. I didn't even notice that it was new with tags until I got home. This is so cool. This is a vintage Victoria's Secret. I believe this is like a slip dress. And it's so beautiful, like the colors, oh my gosh, and this blue lace. It's so gorgeous. Eh, the vintage tag. Victoria's Secret. I love this. It's so adorable. I found other sets online that were kind of like it, but I haven't found just the dress. These are a pair of silver jeans is the next thing that I got. They're, I believe, a size 18, so they're a nice size. Really nice wash. And they're super cute. I like picking up silvers. They're a good sale for me, like $25. 20 25 dollars next thing i got is like this vintage denim vest it's very y2k very deep pop this has a lot of likes on poshmark though it's uh i just put it up for 20 i think but it has a lot of likes on it so the brand is just decree i think that's like a y2k brand i don't know oh and then this is probably my best find so this is a pair of good american jeans and they are new with tags. So this is my first time finding this brand. And this brand is Khloe Kardashian's jean brand, I believe. It's a really good bolo. Bolos be on the lookout for. And they were new with tags. And they were literally $2. Are you kidding? A really cute style. They have some distressing on them. Some holes in the legs. And yeah, they're a size 20. They don't look like a size. I don't know. I don't know how the sizing works because I heard it's like vanity sizing. But I looked it up or I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't really figure it out because they don't look like a size 20. So I just listed them as a size 20. But yeah, I have really great find. I was really excited about those. So yeah, that was all that I got. I spent around 50, 60 bucks for all of it. I think. Yeah, it was a really great yard sale and I found some good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you love hauls, I do them all the time. So and now I'm going to work on cleaning up this room. I'm going to try to get it into shape because it's a hot mess. Like it always is. But I need to break the cycle because it's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. And I'm tired of living like this with my messy room. So we're going to fix it up. I'm going to bring you along with me to do that. And hopefully by the end of today, we'll get it into shape. So let's go. Oh, shoot. That scared me. Hello? Hey, do you think you could help me with something? Yeah. Um, you know, I have So I think my main priority is I'm going to try to get the, my jean totes taken care of first. Because that's what I struggle with the most is finding jeans when I need to pull them for a measurement or something. So I think I'm going to organize those first and make sure I know where all my jeans are because it's always a nightmare. So this denim tote is just all of my uh, blue denim jeans. So I have this tote and then over here, where is it? This tote right here is all jeans too. So I think I'm going to pull these out, count how many jeans I have in there, write it all down, add my new jeans that I just got and already posted into the totes. Okay, so the progress is, <laughs> so it looks a little better over here. So this is all my inventory that I need to post in this tote here. I'm going through right now. And all of this stuff is need to post stuff. And then I did this jean tote, organized it, so I'll show you the list that I created. This is still a mess over here, but I'm working on it right now. So this is like the first jean tote, and I just listed everything that I had in this one. Did the second jean tote, and I listed all of the jeans that I have in there. Hopefully, that will help me be more organized when I have to find a pair of jeans, because now they're in two separate totes. And then I think after I get this more neat and have that stuff put away and have this stuff put away, I think I'm going to work on this tote under here. It's kind of getting crushed. All stuff that has been posted, but it just hasn't been put away in like a proper tote yet. So I think that will be what I go through next. So I didn't show you the mess of all the jeans, but if you could just picture a pile of jeans all over the floor, 
you get the gist. I will update you once it gets better in here because it's still a mess right now, but it, we're working on it. So I just pulled everything out of this tote and it's basically all women's tops and like sweatshirts and things like that. So I'm just going to fold it nicely and put it in here. And these totes that I use are like collapsible. They have the metal pieces that fold out and then they're just like kind of fabric and then they have the clear sides clear front. They're pretty good for what I need them for. I mean, they kind of get a little crushed like this. You can kind of just bend the metal back and just straight straighten them out a little bit. So they work, but they're really nice and I like that I can see through and see what's inside of them. So this is what the room looks like now. I folded all of the clothes in that bin there. It's kind of toppling over a little bit, but you know, it's okay. And this all over here is organized. I folded everything in that tote. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I thought that I would package up two of my sales. The first thing that I sold today was this vintage sparkly maxi dress. It has this chevron print across it and it has like, it's very textured, like you can feel these little sparkles. So that sold for me. And then the other thing that I sold today was this, well I sold this yesterday, but it was this Playboy, I think it's from PacSun. Playboy Paxson. It has like the Playboy bunny on the back. But I sold this for $35. And I've had that posted for quite a while, so it was really nice to make a full price sale on that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will be back soon with another YouTube video. So make sure to like and subscribe and comment and do all the things, you know. So thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.